Welcome to Highline Excel class number 16. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Week 3, Business 214. Hey, if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 3 website. Hey, here's our data set. We're talking about data analysis, and in this video, we're going to talk about sorting. Now, we have 10 tricks for sorting that we're going to do. The first one is just a basic sort. Now, as we've talked about in all our videos uh, so far, back to the first data one, you got to have your data set up uh, with field names at the top, records and rows, and no blanks anywhere. But once you do that, if you want to sort by customer, you simply click in one cell in that column or field. And you could go to data. And then click the A to Z, Z to A. That's in the data um, ribbon or in the home. There's an A to Z right there. Or in 2007, you can right click and go to sort. I'm going to say A to Z. And just like that, if you saw quickly there, it actually um, took all the other records also. It didn't just sort this one column. I'm going to Control Z, Control Z. So the sorting will do all of the records, so the records remain intact. Here's what you don't want to do, though. You don't want to accidentally highlight uh, um, two like that and then right-click sort or however you do it. Before, I think it was 2002, this message didn't come up. It would just sort, but when you highlight more than one cell, it actually will sort just that data, and that's how you wreck a data set. This message, if you read it carefully, it says, what do you want to do? Expand the selection, which we do, of course, here. And that is the default, because it people who design Excel knew that a lot of people destroyed data sets by highlighting more than one cell when they sort it. Or continue the current, no, no. I'm going to click Sort, Expand Selection. So sorting, that was sorting one column. Now, I'm going to Control-Z again, Control-Z, Z. -Z. Um, Sometimes people like to sort, but for whatever reason, they like to keep the original order. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to insert a, a extra column here. Right click Insert. I'm going to call this order. Enter. One, two. I'm going to format that. Control, Shift, tilde. Control, Shift, tilde gets it back to general format. I'm going to double click and send this down. And it will just uh, automatically increment. Now I'm going to go to the bottom, Control, Down Arrow. So I have, oh, just a few records in this set here. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Control, Asterisk, to highlight the whole table. And then I'm going to add borders. Right, so the advantage here is you, now you have an order. So I can right click Sort, go to Z to A, right? And then uh, this was sorted also, but if I want to get back to that, I'll right click sort, or maybe I'll do it this way. The keyboard shortcut, let's do the keyboard shortcut. Um, this opens the dialog box, actually, I'll wait a minute for that. Right click sort, and I'm going to say A to Z. So now we got back to our original order. Now, we just so, so far, we've only sorted one column. What if you want two columns? Well, there's two ways to do it. You can use your buttons. I'm going to turn on the data ribbon. Uh, control F1. So uh, that just shows the ribbon. That doesn't show, on, show the data ribbon per se. But here, there's our buttons. And if we want to sort, have uh, city sorted within car type, there's two ways to do it. Let's do it with a button first. You click, and, and Toyota is called the major sort. That's the one we want all the Toyotas. And within that Toyota, we want to sort these. So sort this city within car type. Since this is the major sort, when you're doing it with the buttons, you have to sort that one last. So watch this. One cell, A to Z. I'm going to click in one cell, and I'm going to do Z to A. So this is the major sort here. So when I scroll down, you can see Toyota uh, got city. So it has the smallest one first, so six, seven, and then there's some 12s, and then 13. So Toyota, there's not very many of them in this data set. But this is our major sort. Uh, this was our mi minor sort column. So buttons, uh, minor sort, and then major sort. Let's try that same thing. I'm going to right click over here and return to the original sorting. And I'll show you how to do it with the sort, the custom sort. 
the keyboard shortcut to open sort it, and this is actually from earlier versions since it was in the data menu. Uh, I always remembered it Alt Data and then S for sort. Alt D S. So sort. The order, my data has headers. See how it highlighted everything like that without the headers? So that's that IntelliSense working. I'm going to say order. I don't, I mean, a sort by. I want the major sort first, so that's going to be car type. Uh, values are fine and a, uh, Z to A. And now I'm going to add a level. And now I go to car uh, customer city, A to Z. Notice how in the dialog box, the major sort is on top, and then the minor sort is down here. And then click OK, and I get that same sort order. Very important. Doing it with the buttons, you always got to do the major sort last. If you're doing it with the sort dialog box, it's always on top. Now, a few more um, important topics here. Now, I'm going to uh, show you another way to collapse a ribbon. You can always right click, minimize ribbon. I want to scroll down and show you horizontal sort. Here we have our data set down here, car type and customer. I'm going to highlight and I'm not going to include the row headers there. Highlight that data. Alt DS. And the trick is you got to go to options. And you want to say uh, by default it's here. I'm going to say sort left to right. Click OK. And then down here it's going to ask us which row. Now I want to take a look at this. Oh, I want to do car type. And that's going to be Z to A. And then I'm going to add a level in 19. This one right here will be car, uh, customer city, A to Z. That'll be fine. And then so I can sort just like that. So that's horizontal sort. Now, um, a new feature in 2007 is sorting by color. Actually, before we um, do that, let's convert to a table, Control T. We talked about this in our last video. Oh, yeah, because then these drop downs not only have filtering but sorting. Sure enough, there's sort by color. Now it looks down through the column and sees those color. Notice it's not picking up the table style. So sort by color, and then you can bring this and it will sort it to the top. Now, uh, something very important about sort sort brings the records up to the top. Filter, which we'll see in our next video, hides the records, though, don't match the criteria. So our criteria here was please red, bring red to the top, and it did. I can now go down and filter by color and say yellow. Oh, that's filter. You see how that does something different? We haven't talked about that uh, yet. That's in our next video. But see, it just hides all of the other rows. And we see the blue row headers. I'm going to say clear filter. That's the filter. Now I'm going to try the sort. Yellow. So we'll bring yellow, yellows at the top, and then red below. Now remember, I have a retained this order column, so I can uh, come over here boop, and say sort smallest to largest. So we've done uh, everything except for one last thing, and sometimes people want to randomize their table. So for instance, maybe you're uh, picking names or something like that. And the way you do that is to add a separate uh, column here, just like we did for order, to keep an order. And we'll say we'll call this Rand. Hey, what just happened there? When, you, uh, when we did our tables, we didn't look at that. If you add something next to a table, field name, for example, it adds a whole new column. So here we're just going to type our formula equals Rand. That is R-A-N-D, open parentheses, close parentheses, and then Control Enter. And oh, there's another feature of tables in 2007, auto complete. So it completed the whole column. Now you can undo calculated column and stop automatically creating calculated columns and Control Auto Correct. So you can uh, deal with that here. But now we have this randomizing um, uh, number, and every time column and every time we come up here and do A to Z, it randomly uh, sorts the records. So you could have, if you did this regularly, you, know, you could sort them and then you have go back to your order column, right? And there it is in the original order. All right, uh, that's it for sort. When we come back, 
we will uh, see filter. All right, see you that video.